If there's one thing that I like more than horsepower, it's fitness. I would do unthinkable things for a camera battery that lasted more than an hour. So I'm in a weird situation with the ruckus. Everything that I have left to do depends on other stuff being done that I don't have yet. The wheel can't be done until the Cheetah Blaster gets here on Wednesday. The brake line setup can't get done until I get the brake line on Wednesday. The seat can't get done until I get the new seat cover. Yes, I know yesterday I said I was just gonna use the stock seat for now and then I would do a new seat cover later on. Problem is that with the way the low seat mount goes onto the seat, I would have to buy a whole entire new seat in order to put on a new seat cover. See, the way that you mount the low bar seat mount is with this bar and some rivets inside this installation kit. If you remove those rivets, you ruin the place that they mount to. It's just the nature of the way these rivets work. They go into these posts at the rear and they spread out and if you end up removing them, it's just gonna destroy the holes on these and you're not gonna have a good mounting point for this bar anymore. And I really, really want a custom seat on this thing. So as much as I wanna get that seat put on like now, I'm gonna wait until I get that seat cover. I'm getting in touch with the company that makes the seat covers for the Ruck Shop, the ones they sell on their website. I'm contacting them to see if they can make me a custom one and see how fast they can get it to me. But I just think it's stupid to go through the effort of getting this installed with the stock seat if I'm just gonna rip it apart and have to buy a new seat in the future just to do a seat cover. But yeah, like everything on the list to do on the Ruckus is little. And if it's not little, it's something that I can't do yet. Even the exhaust, I can't put on the exhaust until the rear wheel is on. And if I just have to take the exhaust in order to put the wheel on, I might as well just not put on the exhaust. But there are a few things that I can do right now. I can modify this gas cap. I gotta remove these tabs from it in order to install the new gas cap cover that I have for this. I can take off this uh, peg on the left side in order to install the kickstand. I can put in the engine oil in the rear, but really there's not a lot to do. It's all little things. I made a list of 52 things and I cleaned it up a little bit, but we're down to maybe 30 things left and it's all little. Only big things left or the exhaust, the wheel, and the seat. That's it. So those things are gonna get here and we're gonna get done with this ruckus like really quick. The wheel's gonna get done and that's gonna go on. Then the exhaust can go on after the wheel gets put on. The seat cover will get here and I can put together the whole entire seat mount. And at that point, it's gonna look like the ruckus can run. It'll just be cleaning up a few things that I'll probably do in the meantime until I get that stuff and then the ruckus can run. So I'm gonna take care of those three things that I just said, modifying that gas cap and putting on that new gas cap. Uh, I can show that to you guys. Here's the gas cap cover that goes on, as you can see, and I probably understand why those tabs get in the way. We'll grind off those tabs and then I can put this thing on there. I'll do that, I'll install the kickstand, I'll put in the engine oil, and that's what I'm gonna do for today. I gotta save a little bit to do tomorrow because that's gonna be the last day before the Cheetah Blaster gets here on Wednesday, and that is gonna be the main thing that we get done that day. But after I get these things done today, we're gonna go for a ride because I haven't ridden in a long time. Probably because for the past few days, it's been like 25 degrees. <laughs> So a few years ago, I made a video called I Haven't Eaten in Three Days. I had only been drinking Soylent for the past three days. If you haven't heard of Soylent, it's like a completely nutritionally full 
meal replacement. This is not a sponsored ad or anything like that, but I've had it a lot over the past few years. I just, it's nice to have when you want something quick. I think last year they started making pre-bottled stuff. Usually it's a powder that you gotta mix yourself. Well, a few weeks ago, they came out with actually flavored kind. So I'm gonna try it. It smells kind of like a chocolate protein drink. Oh, that's really good. It tastes like a freaking milkshake. I was part of their first ever shipments that they made, like the original version, and I've been using it since. It tastes kind of like chocolate almond milk. Abby's gonna try it. It's made of people, Abby. Um, chocolate drinks your dad buys from that nutrition place. Oh, the uh, the lean shakes? Yeah. The chocolate lean shake? Yeah, it does taste like that. It's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Lacey, do you want to try some? She's like, I'll eat anything. Actually, no, this is the one that'll eat anything. I'll leave a link down in the description for it. Again, this is not sponsored. I'm not paid to say this. I just really like this stuff, and so when they came out with this, I wanted to try it. I figured I'd tell you guys guys about it. But yeah, there's a movie called Soylent Green and it's basically like a future dystopian society and their drink is made out of people. So we installed these pegs on the side, but uh, I forgot to put the kickstand on. So I gotta take this off, put that on. but that is literally all I can do on the ruckus right now until the rest of my stuff comes. So instead, I'm gonna go for a ride. I'll see you guys on the R1. has it been guys? I know it's been at least three weeks because I haven't ridden it since I left for uh, Christmas vacation and I did that on like December 20th or 21st or something like that. Maybe the one where I rode both my bikes. I think that might be the last time I vlogged on the R1. <laughs> Literally the last time I rode the R1. I've just been so freaking busy. Y'all have to let me know which bike you like seeing me on more though. I know back when I had the WR, the R1 was definitely more popular than the WR was, but I don't know, now with the CRF, so many of y'all followed along with the build series, so you really, really like the CRF now. That's a cop. That is a cop. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> That's a cop, though. Right there? That is definitely... Where is he? Is he on the other side? I think he's on the other side. My eyes are fooling me. My eyes are fooling me. No, that's not a cop either. What the heck? What's going on? Oh, they legit have it, like, blocked off. Do we stay on or are we to get off? Stay on or get off? I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to stay on. Rest me, Officer. The R1 is just so much fun, guys. I get so caught up in the build, and obviously, as I mentioned earlier today, I'm super into weightlifting, and I will just like never miss a workout. I don't know, man. Sometimes riding just falls by the wayside. I've made so many freaking vlogs about it, talking about how important riding is to me and what it means to me and the people that I've met because of it. I wouldn't trade it for a thing. But I still gotta get me them gains, guys. I gotta get me them gains. 
What up, Jose? What up? You want some? You want some? You want some? You don't want this? You don't want this? I just don't see uh, sports cars on the highway too often around here. I know people have them in Austin, but you just don't see them. I see Teslas more than anything, honestly. Oh, you know what that just reminded me of, though? I haven't taken care of my speeding ticket. Whoopsies! We'll make a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, now, oh, now you catch up. Now you catch up. Now you want some. Okay. Okay, after I've already gotten the exit lane. Okay, I'll let you have this one, man. I'll let you have this one. <sighs> I haven't had a good race in a while. Freaking last good race I had was against Dan on a CBR 1000. Oh, <laughs> I was texting Dan earlier today. I think he might have gotten this from people requesting it in comments or something because he made a video. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description to it. Do it with Dan, another YouTuber. He made a video. Uh, he's been doing a build on an old Harley, like a 1971 or something. I can't remember. It's an old, old Harley. But he did a top speed run. I haven't gotten a chance to watch the video, but I think when I was texting him, he said it was something around like 55 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so he texted me, he was like, dude, we gotta do a race with you on your Ruckus. I'm like, dude, all I gotta do is trek my Ruckus out to Georgia. If you want to see me race Dan on my Ruckus against his Harley, leave a comment. If in the far distant future, the next time I head to Georgia, if it happens, I'll uh, add a link to the description and a card on the screen if we make that race happen. Until then, there's gonna be so many comments. Clickbait. The video's clickbait. Someone back there has like super blue lights and I keep looking back and thinking that there's a cop. Downshift, downshift 83. I hate seeing chargers, man. I always think they're cops. Oh, that's a custom license plate. You ain't a cop. You ain't a cop. You got nothing on me. You can't take me down. I'm better than you, man. I'm better than you. I don't know how I have so much energy right now. The R1 is intoxicating. Who needs drugs and alcohol when you have a liter bike? Nah, but I love this thing, guys. The only thing that I would replace this with is a newer R1. The only realistic thing I would replace this with is a newer R1. My dream bike of that general class is the Ducati 1299 Anniversario. Look at it. Just look at it. If I could ride one of those things, I would be a happy man. I don't even know if someone has them. I think they only made like a certain number of them. But that's what I'm gonna leave you with today, guys. I hope you're enjoying the daily vlogs. Oh, that light's green. I should probably make that. I I'm loving it. It's motivating, guys. I get up in the morning, I'm like, what are we gonna do today? Uh, and today I worked out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got me thinking. It's got me thinking. If you got if you got things that you guys want me to do here in Austin, you, you got challenges that you want me to do. You got things that you want me to cut with a thousand degree knife. But no, I'm being deliberately various with the vlogs. Um, seeing, kind of seeing what sticks, what you guys are interested in. I know a lot of you are here on the channel because of build series, but like that's not the only thing that I'm about. And like the biggest thing for me is making sure that the content that I create is the content that I want to create. I am blessed to be able to do something that I love as a career, like as my job. It does not fall on a deaf heart. Is that a thing? A deaf heart? I don't know. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm constantly aware that uh, I got it good being able to do this. And I don't want to ruin that feeling. I, I want to always love what I'm making. And I've been doing this for five years now. Holy crap, my first video was uploaded in like January 7th of 2012. Oh, I missed it. But nah, like it's it's incredible. And I, I love having the support of you guys. I don't want to just do things for views just to make people happy if it doesn't make me happy. It's not worth it if it's not making me happy. And this content that I'm doing right now is, is it makes me happy. But it's still very important to me that I make entertaining stuff. And so if there's stuff that you guys want to see, leave a comment. I'd love to hear it. But that's going to be it, guys. Remember, vlogs every single day this week I'm trying to low-key get myself in the habit of doing daily vlogs with the possibility that I continue them so hit that like button if you're enjoying it guys hit the subscribe button if you're not subbed to the channel yet and I'll see you guys tomorrow